What's going on, my beautiful Aquarius? Thank you guys for tuning in to the Kayla's Divine Tarot. If this is your first time to our channel. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as we walk into our Divinity Aquarius gang gang. Y'all come on up in the building. Comment down below. Let me know where you're tuning in from or let me know if this reading resonates with you or not. This is a general for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Do not forget to subscribe, Aquarius. Once we get 26K, I'm going to be doing a lucky giveaway so you do not want to miss it. Do not forget to hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified when your readings upload or whenever we go live. All right, so let's get into it. All right, let's see what you got going on, Aquarius. What's happening here? Okay, so organization. All right, so Aquarius, you could be working for an organization. You can be starting your own organization. Some of you guys are in this mode of wanting to get organized in your life. All right, so cleaning out your closets, organizing your car, organizing your desk, organizing your business. All right, it says purpose, planning, efficiency. Now come to me so easily. So I definitely feel like in regards to you progressing on your spiritual journey, Aquarius, progressing with your career. All right, organization, being organized, having a proper plan. It's going to be very important here to you. So some of you guys are definitely planning like some great things here. And maybe you need to get some things organized. The number 42 could be significant. So if I'm hearing February 4th, February 6th, February 2nd um, could be significant to you. Somebody here could be like in their early 40s. Either you or your person. What else is here? So organizing Aquarius. Making plans. Yeah, friendship. All right, so it says, bring to me friendship, truth, sharing, laughter, understanding, too. So, Aquarius, some of you guys are, uh, you could be organizing something like with your friends, maybe organizing a trip, planning something here. Um, some of you guys have a friendship going on here, okay? So, there could be friends wanting to hang out, reaching out, okay? Some of you guys are wanting to manifest like new friendships, people that are true, people that are genuine, people that are on your vibrational frequency here. So, some of you guys are going to be connecting more with um, like real friends or something here. The number 14 could be significant, uh, February 1st, February 4th, February 5th, all right? And then we got fertility, all right? So there could be a friend here that wants to grow here with you, Aquarius, whether this is like in a relationship or maybe they want to help you grow their business or they want to grow with you or something. Something about fertility. It says, let, let take all root, seed, and sprout. Let new life be all about. So Aquarius, some of you guys are like growing into like a new life. This may actually be like a baby. All right, so some of you guys, if you're not trying to get pregnant, okay, watch it <laughs> because some of you guys are very fertile at this time. Uh, so you can be fertile with like a lot of new ideas, a lot of new plans. Um, yeah, okay. The number 37 could be significant. February 3rd, February 7th, February 10th. All right, some of you guys are completing some type of cycle. So if you've been in a situation or you've been feeling stagnant in your job, stagnant in your love situation, stagnant in your career, or whatever the case may be, okay, I see you giving birth to something new. So you can be getting a new job, a new position, okay, or you're starting like a new business endeavor. Can I get one more card? I got two more. Yeah, beauty. All right, you're very beautiful, very handsome at this time. Some of you guys are, you either work in the beauty industry, Aquarius, all right, or this is something that maybe you've been thinking about getting into. All right, so this is hair, makeup, nails, skincare, um, health, okay? Anything dealing with your beauty. Some of you guys are just like, yeah, you're glowing here. Somebody feels like you're absolutely beautiful or handsome. All right, some of you guys are, if you're getting like a job at a new organization or something like that, like your looks may actually play a part in this Aquarius, okay? Because you look really, really good right now. It says, I have a form which is divine. I'm allowed what is within to shine. So Aquarius, some of you guys are beautiful from the inside out. And there's a lot, that's why a lot of people are attracted to you. Um, you get a lot of new opportunities and things like that because of um, not only are you beautiful and handsome on the outside, but from the inside out, okay? You're really shining right now. Yeah, look, inspiration. Aquarius, not only are you beautiful and handsome, but you're very inspirational to a lot of people. All right, some of you guys, this is your purpose to be, to inspire people how to get in shape and how to like enhance their beauty, like spiritual beauty and their physical beauty, okay, as well. The number 19 could be significant. Some of you guys have been friends with somebody since you were like teenagers, okay? So this person, you could be in contact with this person, growing something with this person. This person may actually be into you. All right, but it says Isis, goddess of magic. I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. So somebody here could have been trying to do magic like on your relationships, Aquarius, on your friendships. Um, so like if all of a sudden you're normally organized and you have a set schedule and all of a sudden like your schedule was kind of chaotic or like things became unorganized in your life, it could be because of like a connection that you have or someone here could have been playing with magic to try to, to like mess with your beauty. So like if you're very handsome and very beautiful, then all of a sudden you start experiencing breakouts or rashes or you get pimples. Like somebody here, like they, they may 
not like you because a lot of people gravitate here to you um, because of like how you look and how inspirational you are. All right, so I feel like whatever magic this is, it's returning to this person or these people rather. Because some Aquarius, I don't know what it is about us. Like a lot of people, they don't like us, especially when we look good and we take care of ourselves. <laughs> okay. With the friendship here, it's like you're a really, really good friend, of course, but you're not friendly. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense, especially in regards to people that are trying to stop your shine. Yeah, courage. Can we deal with a Leo here? It says, my, by shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. All right, so Aquarius, you're getting your strength back. You're getting the courage to step out of your comfort zone, getting the courage to address issues head on. You have, you're very strong here, Aquarius, okay? So whatever this is that you're growing or thinking about doing, it's going to take a lot of strength and courage for you to do this, okay? And it is going to be successful here for you, all right? At the bottom of the deck, dream sweet, sleep deep. So Aquarius, some of you guys... Um, uh, could be getting more sleep or maybe you have dreams and visions while you're asleep. So pay attention to your dreams and things like that. It says sleep that's deep and last till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. So there's some type of dream or something that could be coming true here for you. Aquarius, the number five could be 45 could be significant. February 4th, February 9th, February 5th. Okay. Or somebody here is like in their early 40s. Between the Some of you guys are between the ages of 37 to 45 or you're dealing with somebody in that age range. All right. Let's get... Some of these. What else is going on with my beautiful Aquarius? Is this resonating with you, Aquarius? All right, very beautiful energy, okay? You're a really, really good friend, okay? You're just not friendly like that. You know what I'm saying? You're pouring into people that pour into you. You want to connect with people that connect with you. All right, so that's beautiful. If you don't, if you don't have those type of connections, I see uh, the divine is bringing in uh, friendship, fertility, new ideas. What else is here for the Aquarius Holy Spirit? Wow auger mastery okay so aquarius some of you guys are mastering something you could be going to school to get your masters uh whatever it is that you do for work some of you guys are like you have mastered like your energy all right whatever it is that you do for work aquarius you are the best at that okay especially if you work for some type of organization or something like that mastering i definitely feel like in regards to getting things in order in your life in regards to be able to see the success that you want to see organization is going to be like very key very important right now yeah, you are an ascendant master, all right, is what they're telling me. So this could be in regards to spirituality, okay, and on the uh, career front. Mastery. So you're mastering something, learning something here. You're very good at what you do, Aquarius, all right? And then you look good while you're doing it. So that's why a lot of people come to you or flock to you. Old Cam, nature, all right, it's your nature here. Like I said, Aquarius, a lot of you guys are friendly by nature. You're very, you're, 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 you're a good friend by nature. You know what I'm saying? All right, some of you guys are getting out, connecting more with nature. All right, getting out by the trees, the sunshine, and things like that. Something about bark, pine bark is what they're telling me. So some of you guys can be working on your health, okay, working on your immunity, okay. Aquarius, some of you guys are just naturally inspirational to people, whether, you were, whether you're trying to be or not. It's just like how you carry yourself, how you talk. You're just naturally like friendly and inspirational to people. So that's why a lot of people love you and are inspired by you. Yeah, some of you guys are oracles. You have a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom that you have, of course, you know a lot. And it's either because you study a lot, you read a lot, or like I said, in regards to like your dreams and visions, you get a lot of cosmic downloads. You get a lot of wisdom from the divine through dreams, your angels and spirit guides speaking to you. All right, some of you guys are tarot readers or you're very intuitive. You're like an oracle. So you may have a lot of friends, family, or just random people come up to you wanting advice. They tell you they whole life story because it's like you're very wise. So something about using your wisdom or something that you know is going to like bring about something new here for you. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, hydromancy, illusion. All right, so Aquarius, some of you guys are like seeing through people's illusions. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, hydromancy. So manifesting through water. Water is very powerful. Okay, so you know Aquarius, they call us the water bearers. All right, normally on the uh, original Aquarius card, there's an Aquarius with two um either like a vase or a pitcher full of water or like two cups with water all right so some of you guys can be uh manifesting with water in some type of way all right drinking more water maybe live by the water traveling by the water taking your spiritual baths all right is uh very important for you at this time <coughs> what else is here this is a beautiful reading of okay naturally friendly you are naturally an inspiration you're just a master at everything that you do all right, camel pose. Okay, opening. 
The number 26 could be significant. Um, open the doorway to your heart and discover a treasure within. So, Aquarius, some of you guys have big hearts. You love to give. You love to help people. All right, something here. Open the doorway to your heart. Okay, so somebody here is trying to get you open uh, uh, to open up here. Somebody could be opening their heart to you. Um, something about your creativity. Okay, going towards what your heart really desires. Okay, I see that happening here. Open your heart. So maybe some of you guys have gone through some stuff before. You know what I'm saying? Love relationships. And maybe you're kind of closed off a little bit. You're opening up to love again. All right. Yeah. Lion. Courage. Again, courage. This is the second card that says something about courage. Could definitely be dealing with Leo. Or you could have like Leo in your chart or going into Leo season, of course. I see a lot of great things coming in here for you. Be courageous and see your power in the world. So Aquarius, okay. If you not have not realized how powerful you are, okay, you the shit. Okay, you that bitch, you that dude, period, okay, yeah, so the number 19, like I said, could be significant to you again, okay, so strength and courage, Aquarius, to open your heart to love, to open your heart to mastering your craft, open your heart to like, uh, basically just opening up to the new things that the divine is bringing in here for you, and it takes a lot of courage. So maybe you're leaving a job and you're going into like a whole new career field or like maybe you've been single for a while and now you want to be opening to dating or maybe you've been working for somebody else and now you want to open your own your own business or your own organization can i get one more card yeah the dancer all right so some of you guys could be into dance maybe you dance uh in some type of way could be going to like a dance or like celebration but it says the dancer balance finding balance okay in your life like i said going back to organization this is where your success and happiness is going to come from once you find balance in your life so some of you guys are finding balance in your career your finances um just in your home activate your willingness to enter the dance all right so some of you guys could be entering into something totally new here okay and it's going to have you dancing feeling good feeling free at the bottom of the deck reflection hero pose all right, so this is the second card talking about a pose, okay? So some of you guys could be models. Um, you take very beautiful pictures. Maybe you are a photographer in some type of way. But it says reflection. Embark on the journey to invite acceleration of your soul's path here on earth. So I definitely feel like some of you guys, once you, um, some of you guys are really working in your purpose, walking in your purpose, and it's like things are really going to take off fast for you. Your money, your career. So expect some type of acceleration of your life, uh, especially if you are on your spiritual journey, okay? Things are going to speed up here for you. So get ready, okay? I'm hearing bubble up your seatbelt, of course, all right? Things are really going to take off here for you. All right, beautiful. Aquarius, thumbs up this video if you resonate with this. I love it. Let's get some tarot. Let's get some tarot for the Aquarius. Holy Spirit, thank you for these beautiful messages. All right, wow, we got the three of swords. So like I said, Aquarius, some of you guys are maybe um, going through some type of heartbreak or breakup. All right, and maybe you have your heart closed or some of you guys have gone through so much betrayal and like heartbreak and stuff like that. It's like you done mastered this shit. With the mastery here and the opening, it's like you know who to open up to, who not to open up to. Or maybe this is what you have been asking God for guidance on. Like who should I open up my heart to? Who should I close my heart off to? You know what I'm saying? Because maybe you've been hurt so much. So three of swords, you could have been dealing with an air sign like yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody could have definitely really hurt you. So some of you guys are getting over a heartbreak. Um... I definitely get this energy of like somebody being heartbroken here and it's like their their whole life is like unorganized like since this heartbreak or whatever this is all right so getting up out of the bed going through your healing process getting things organized so you can move on from this aquarius that's for you or hell your, maybe your person somebody maybe you broke this person's heart or whatever i don't know yeah queen of cups following your intuition here Somebody here could be very emotional in their feelings, Aquarius. All right, somebody here could be in their feelings because, like, a lot of people love you here with the Queen of Cups. You're very nurturing. You're very motherly here, okay? Somebody here could be pregnant, so maybe your emotions are all over the place because of that. But Queen of Cups, this could be like a mother figure, okay? Some of you guys are pregnant or you're giving birth to something new. It's going to take a lot of courage and strength, all right? So finding that emotional balance that you need, okay? So Queen of Cups could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, the Empress, you're pregnant, Aquarius. All right, so congratulations for you guys that are finding out that you're pregnant. Um, some of you guys are stepping into your empress and your emperor energy here. Okay, so bossing up with your life. Um, I don't know why they're telling me, like, some of you guys uh, could be giving birth to, like, a child that could be, like, some type of performer, dancer, okay? Or maybe you are a performer or dancer. This is, like, a, a husband, a wife, okay? So, I don't know. Somebody here could be talking to, like, a mother or a father figure trying to get, like, advice in regards to, like, how to handle a situation. 
the empress that's like uh like i said a husband or a wife so wisdom okay so of course i feel like you're very wise or maybe your mother instilled some type of wisdom or something into you or your parents did something here the empress yeah it takes a lot of courage so yeah some of you guys like i said are giving birth to like a new baby or so you're going to be becoming like a new mother or a new father or this is you giving birth to a new business a new idea that's really going to boss your life up or level you up here okay so congratulations i see you living a life of luxury here aquarius so whatever these new ideas are that's going through your head okay take that dance all right use your courage and your strength and get this going okay because this is like yeah living a life of luxury here okay a lot of money wealth um everything okay the empress embodies all of the queens okay all of the kings so period what else is here for my Aquarius Holy Spirit? All right, what's the outcome? I told you, Ace of Pentacles. I cannot make this up. So some of you guys maybe have gone through some heartbreak and maybe you're like, F that. You know what I'm saying? Let me just master my money, master my finances. Let me just master, you know what I'm saying? Focusing on my business. Whatever this is, Aquarius, that you've been thinking about doing, uh, applying for a certain position, uh, relocating for a certain position or whatever the case may be, Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is going to pay off. This is a solid offer. Some of you guys may be hurt or you are in your feelings because maybe you feel like nobody around you was really solid. You know what I'm saying? But Queen of Swords. So you'd be cutting somebody off. There's definitely two queens here. So somebody here was definitely in a third-party situation or this could be a same-sex relationship or something. Okay, so somebody may have the courage to like speak out about it or come out about it or tell somebody like, yes, I'm in love with her or I'm in love with him. Okay, or something like that. Queen of Swords. Some of you guys have went cold on somebody. Or like I said, Aquarius, a lot of you guys with the Queen of Cups here, you're naturally friendly. You're naturally nurturing nurturing okay but the queen of souls you can be cold at the same time okay so you're friend you're friendly you know what i'm saying it's like you're a good friend but you're not friendly is the energy that i'm getting because queen of swords can be cold but the queen of cups can be kind of like you know what i'm saying loving and kind but you can it's like you got a balance here all right one more part for the outcome for the aquarius yeah, four pentacles. I see you saving money. So some of you guys are stepping into like a career opportunity business. I see you making a lot of money and saving a lot of money. Maybe you're saving for a new business or like what you do for work or whatever. Okay, I see four pentacles. This is like holding back. This is also saving money here, Aquarius. All right, unless it's going towards your business or like growing you or prospering you in some type of way. Four pentacles here. You're saving a lot of money. So congratulations. What's the outcome? Outcome for the Aquarius. Yeah, four cups. Somebody here feels rejected. So Aquarius, somebody could have rejected your love offer. It could be in an Aries. Uh, Aries. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They rejected you here. And because of this rejection, some of you guys decided to just focus on yourself and master your craft, master your emotions, master your money. And then it's like whoever this is that cut you off, now they want to come in with an offer. Now they want to be friends. Now they want to show emotions and stuff like that. So it's like the ball is in your court whether you want to deal with this person or not. One more card for the outcome. Yeah, strength card again. A lot of a lot of Leo energy. So I definitely feel like a lot of things are going to be happening for you in Leo season. People that rejected you before are going to be coming back, wanting to show you love. All right, I see an increase in your money, your finances. People naturally flocking to you because you're inspirational, you're friendly. All right, the strength card. I feel like you're very strong and courageous. Of course, a lot of people look up to how strong you are. Even if you've gone through heartbreak or taking some losses, you always boss up. You always get back up. Yeah, the moon card is in reverse. All right, so that lets me know there's no secret. There's no hidden agendas or nothing when it comes to you, Aquarius. And that's why people love you. The moon is in reverse. So it's like you're an open book. All is going to be revealed here. Page of Pentacles. All right. So, yeah, somebody that you have a child here with, with may want to come in and tell you the truth or... Some of you guys may have like page of pentacles energy. Whoever this is that you're holding back from or somebody's holding back from you, maybe they feel like they don't have enough, okay, in regards to like money. They don't have enough to take care of you or something here is where somebody here is worried about their finances, okay, or there's somebody that you're connected to, Virgo towards Capricorn, or this is like a young, immature energy. They could be holding back your finances or you going after your dreams and things like that. They're barely bringing anything to the table, so you could be doing everything. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. I feel like whoever this is, they're breadcrumbing and maybe they're trying to stop like your victory or your success all right but Aquarius some of you guys are in the public eye I see a promotion or something here getting some type of praise okay for your hard work four of wands is in reverse so you could be putting somebody out of your house out of your energy blocking somebody all right somebody here is unstable since you cut them off and started focusing on you somebody's unstable now somebody's leaving a marriage or moving out because somebody's not pitching in or they're not helping. Yeah, the judgment's in reverse. You're like, once it's done, it's done. No reconciliation. Eight of swords. I will not be stuck in this situation anymore. The fool card. You have a new beginning here. 
You're no longer playing the fool for anybody. You're going to do what you want, when you want, however you want. So congratulations, Aquarius, on this new beginning. All right, I love you guys so much. If you resonate with any part of this beautiful reading, thumbs up the video, like it, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you on the next reading. Bye.